I'm very happy to present my greetings to Shalom Ministry and all the good work that you do around the world in fulfilling the dream of the Holy Father that all should hear the love of God. Thank you for your good work and those who support you. May these special days of new evangelization bless your operators, your administrators, and your benefactors. God bless you. Shalom World, God's own channel. Hi, my name is Rose Vesho. Uh, I am married to Luigi Vesho, and I'm a mother of two children. Uh, Laura, who is going to be 20 years old, and our son is going to be 18. I am a mother, uh, a wife, and I'm an employer. I'm basically everything that we should be, I guess, in this world that we live in. Um, we are self-employed. Uh, we run two businesses, and uh, we have a busy, very busy lifestyle. Where did I find Jesus and Mother Mary? It's, it was a very, very long journey. Growing up as a child, uh, visiting my grandmother, that's a memory I, I do have. Um, she was very devout to Mother Mary. I remember as a small child visiting her with my family. First things first, she always had a rosary in her hand and I would ask her to hold it. And she was always more than happy to give it to me and explain to me what the rosary meant to her. Um, I miss her dearly, uh, she's passed. But I think when I think of a foundation of the Catholic faith, she definitely was the person I can honestly say that I look to. I guess living in a secular world, uh, it's been hard. You know, living in this world of uh, so much around us and so much given to us. Um, you know, I did everything that I guess in our Italian culture I should have done. You know, uh, get married, have children, have a job. Uh, take care of my husband and children, did all that. Um, had a very successful business with my husband, but things got not to, things changed. And things didn't get better, they were getting worse. Looking at our business as it was flourishing, I noticed our family life was just disintegrating. You know, my, I had a husband that loved me from day one when he met me, when we were courting as, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, but I saw as time went on, you know, our love for one another was diminishing. All because of this, I guess, the secular world we live in. You know, we were making, um, we were very busy with work. It was all about work and it was all about success and getting more and more and more. Getting more meant less. Um, tragically, I can honestly say our marriage was failing um, and we parted. Uh, my husband and I uh, separated uh, for a while and it was very, very difficult when my husband left. I truly, truly, truly was devastated. The whole idea of having a family, a husband and two children, that was broken. Along this journey of, I guess, success, we'll call it, uh, we lost our faith. Um, visiting church wasn't happening anymore. You know, we were lucky if we were going at Christmas time. So when this thing happened with my husband and our family tragically uh, separated, the first person I turned to was God. And I asked for his mercy and his help. And from there, I really, I was at bottom, but I looked to him and he helped me through all this. And I remember praying to him every morning at 3 a.m., getting on my knees and praying to him to bring our family back together. That's all I wanted. And I found the strength. I went on, I continued. I was a very good mother with my kids. I told them everything was gonna be okay and not to be discouraged. And as time went on, I waited patiently. And with time, my husband and I miraculously, uh, we reconciled, which was a miracle in itself. So from there, I can only say it's been a journey of uh, faith, 
hope and love. Um, our family's flourished. We have, uh, I can honestly say our family is not a perfect family, but it's a family that we work very hard at being who we are, and we try to be a prime example uh, for our community. And that is going to church as a family together, going to confession as a family praying the rosary on Sunday uh, afternoons, having Sundays our family day. These are all things that we work and to show that we are uh, a Catholic family. And we couldn't have done this with the Holy Spirit and the love of God and His mercy. And we look to Mother Mary as our idol. She's the one that keeps our family together. If you were to go through our home, in every room we have a picture of Mother Mary. So I can honestly say she blesses us every day with this courage, love, and peace that we find in this household. And people, when they visit us, the first thing they say to us, they'll sit down and they'll say, there's so much peace in this home. And that's what it is, it's a home. It's not a house, it's a home. And we'll cherish this home forever. So I just like to say that um, I hope I get this message across that there's always hope. There's always hope. Look to God, look to Mother Mary. They're there and they're, they're always watching over you. Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. The church needs many more young men and women to respond to God's call. I'm Father Michael Sparrow from the Bellarmine Jesuit Retreat House. One of the priests highlighted on Vokari, Shalom World's weekly television show that highlights the diversity of men and women who have responded to God's call to priesthood and religious life. We count on your prayers and your generous gifts to help us continue to produce Vokari and a wide variety of other television inspirational shows seen around the globe for the glory of God. No gift is too small, no gift is too large. Support Shalom World TV, and the next time you tune in, you'll be glad you did. <laughs>